Welcome to McKenzie Creations. In this video, we are going to go over Crafter's Companion Banner Kit. And this was the TSV on HSN on March 29th. And I'm so excited to get this. HSN actually had two craft days in March, but I'll get to those hauls a little later. Um, but I really wanted to um, work with this today. Um, so we'll just go over this. They include a binder. I signed up for the auto ship. And so... Um, this is the binder and then they give you um two of these plastic sheets right here which the um dies will go into and i'll get the dies in a moment the dies are actually in this box right here then they give you a magnetic sheet and then here are the actual stamps so let's talk about these stamps for a moment because there was a lot of chatter on social media I know during the demo, it was said that these were photopolymer stamps, but they're actually high um, quality acrylic stamps, which I'm fine with as long as they stamp okay, um, I'm good with that. Some people said they were having a difficult time stamping and other people were fine. And in my opinion, you really have to have some type of um, stamp platform. So I will pull mine out. Okay, so I have these stamp platforms from Crafter Companion, and these were the first um, stamp platforms that I ever purchased. And so these are good um, if you're just stamping down, but for sentiment, especially since it's a sheet of sentiments, you need a precision stamp. So I'm just gonna get this out the way. And I have a precision stamp platform right here. This is by um, Studio Light, I believe. And this is actually too small for this set. Both of the sets I have are too small. The good thing about a precision stamp is if you stamp down and then all of the ink doesn't get on, you can re-ink it, stamp it back down, and it'll be in the same place. So you don't have to worry about it shifting or anything. And I'm not going to order any more stamp platforms, so I'm going to have to figure a way to stamp these. But I was reading on social media and... I'm telling you, our crafters are very crafty. And some of the people said that they actually just made a copy of the um, the carrier sheet. So if you remove these stamps, I'm going to remove this just so you can see. Okay. So if you look at this carrier sheet, it has all the stamps on here. So people are just making a copy of this and then die cutting them out. And this was such a wonderful idea because in my mind, I was going to stamp these. And if I got a good um, stamp the first time or whenever I got a good stamp out of this, I was just going to scan it and copy it. So that was my idea. But this is even quicker to just do it this way. So I'm going to try both ways. I'm going to try making a copy. And then we're gonna also test this out, you know, using the regular ink and stamping them. So let's get started. Okay, before we get started, we're gonna go over what's actually in the kit here. So like I said, you get um, several sets of stamps to start off with. So I'm in an auto ship, so I believe every other month they're gonna send you different stamps for different occasions. So these are birthday stamps right here. And they have a bunch of um, birthday sentiments. I'll just read a few of them. Happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. Hope your day is filled with extra icing. Birthdays are for celebrating. Have a great day. With love on your birthday. Birthday wishes. Hooray, it's your birthday. Today is all about you. So they just have a lot of cute sentiments here. And the next set of stamps is time to celebrate. And um, it says you're engaged, love is in the air, time to celebrate, let's party, completely in love with you, you are the love of my life, you are on my mind and in my heart, congratulations, happy anniversary, so happy for you, happy retirement, I love your beautiful heart, happiness starts here happy wedding day happy new home love and hugs put on your dancing shoes all of me loves all of you 
well done. I love you. Sending love. So a lot of cute um, sentiments there. And then the next set of stamps is just to say warm wishes. Thank you so much. Surrounding you with love. Thanks. A day to celebrate. Just a note. Hope you're feeling better soon. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Thank you for your support. Gratitude is the heart's memory. So very blessed. Be thankful always. Thankful, happy, blessed. Deepest condolences with sympathy. Warm wishes. So those are nice. And then the next set of stamp is um, family ties. Family is everything. You say crazy like it's a bad thing. Hooray. Making memories. Laugh more. Worry less. Fabulous granddaughter. Hold on. Let me overthink this. Beautiful girl. Super mom. You make me smile. Age only matters if you're cheese. Amazing grandson. Cheers. Birthday boy. Laughter puts the wrinkles in the right places. So proud of you. Don't you think if I was wrong, I know it. <laughs> so that's cute. And there's a lot more on there. I just read a few off there. Then the next one is Tis the Season. And they only give you a half a page of stamps here. So um, these are Happy Holidays, Jingle All the Way, Season Greetings, Merry Christmas, Deck the Halls, Winter Wishes, Ho Ho Ho, Noel, Merry and Bright, Peace on Earth, Holly Jolly Everything, Joy to the World, Celebrate the Season, Silent Night. So those are some of those. And then they give you a little folder here. So once you cut your um, sentiments out, you can put them in here. So this is the binder. Okay, and this is the actual box of um, supposed to be freebies that they included. And it's over 125 elements. So um, let's get this open. This is packaged so pretty. All righty. So right here you get um, Baker's Twine and Satin Ribbon. So let's open this up. Well, these are some cute colors. Okay. Oh, these are the metal dies. And these go in your binder. Those first two um, plastic sheets I told you. Those are um, holders for these um, dies. And these will cut out your actual banners that you stamp. Okay, and these are pastel cards. So let's take a peek at these. Okay, so let's flip through these. You get the pretty blues, yellow, pink, purple, and then you get white. So I'll put that here. And then, of course, they always give you um, some blank cards, which you can never have enough of these. And then um, they give you additional envelopes. Okay, so this is always nice to have. So that's everything in this kit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of the sentiments. Um, and I'm just going to do one page. And then um, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I went ahead and made a copy of this on my HP printer 
And so I'll just go over the results. Now, I just wanna say every one printer is different. So I just wanted to go over the results and this is specific to my printer. So you can see that some of the sentiments are blurry and there was a lot of um, shading on here. So then what I did next was I took a piece of um, blank paper and when I did a print, it came out uh, much cleaner. So I'll get that copy. So with that in mind, my printer was too small for the um, actual size of, of this carrier sheet. And so it cut off a lot of the words. So I really think this will work. I'm only getting a little shadowing, but I really think that's um, because of my printer. So it may be um, good for me to like maybe go to Kinko's and print this out, or I do have a craft um, Canon printer that I need to get some more ink for. So um, I'll come back with the update um, to let you know if I'm able to print this out okay. In the meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and try um, stamping these with um, ink. And I did buy um, some VersaFine ink. And so I just got this from Amazon. Um, it came this Tuesday. So I'm gonna um, use this um, because I hear it's really good with your sentiments. So um, let me just get everything open and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I have my stamping mat. And like I said before, um, my stamping platform and then my precision stamping platform are both too small. So what I'm gonna do, and I hope this works. So we'll see, sometimes it's just about um, doing things by trial and error. So if I can get this ink open here, and we're just gonna ink up the um, sentiments. So I'm just gonna take a few moments here. And try to ink these up. Okay, we're almost done. You just wanna make sure that you have ink on all of the um, sentiments. Okay, so I think we're good. We'll go with that. So I took a 12 by 12 paper set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the cover page and then a actual paper page, and I'm gonna stick my stamps under here. And then what I'm gonna do is get the um, paper that I'm gonna stamp the sentiments on, and I'm just gonna lay it flat down on here. And once you put it down, don't move it. So I'm just gonna rub this like I'm using my precision stamp platform. And let's see if this will work. So time to reveal. Oh, pretty good. Look at that. So sometimes you just have to find an alternate way because I don't have a um, stamping platform that fits. So this came out pretty good. I can see that I moved the paper a little bit. Um, but overall, I think it looks okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. So um, give me one moment. I'm just going to find my dies and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, just a quick update. I wanted to try this stamp one more time. So I re-inked my um, stamp right here. And instead of laying the paper directly down, I think that's why it moved a little bit. I'm gonna lay my paper against the back of this paper pad, and I know it's hard to see on my camera, but it's laid up right here against my paper. So as I bring this down, I'm just gonna let the paper fall on here. And I'm just gonna very carefully bring this down. Okay. Now I'm going to really try not to move this. And you can feel where the stamp is through the paper. That's why you only need to use the like the first two sheets. Okay. So let's see if this came out any better. Mm. 
yeah, I think this came out better. So I'm going to hold this up. I think the sentiments came out pretty good. And it's better than the first time. So if you do it this way, you just want to keep in mind, you really want to keep a steady hand. And so it's just the alternate way. I just don't want to buy another stamping platform right now um, because those are pretty pricey. So what I'm going to do is get my banners and I'll be back. At this point in the video, there's a glitch. So I'm going to have to do a voiceover. So you're going to take the die and you're going to match it up to the sentiments. And there are four X's and that helps you to align the die to the stamps. And so once you get that aligned up, then you can die cut your banner. In this case, I'm going to plug up my electric die cutting machine and I'm going to cut these out and be right back. Okay, I'm back and I did have to run this through my die cutting machine one more time. I had my plating wrong and so the stamps, um, when I did it with the correct plating, the sentiments actually just fell all out. So, um, you know, it's just trial and error with me with the electric machine because I don't use it all the time. So yeah, let me just hold up some of these. They came out really neat. And I like the fact that they cut out at all the same time. And so like when you make your card, sometimes that's the hardest part at the end, trying to um, think of a sentiment to put on there. And so if you do these in advance, you'll have these ready. And so what I think I'm gonna do is just kind of organize these, put all the happy birthdays together. And um, I actually saw people um, on social media, they went to Amazon or other stores and brought the carriers that um, are kind of divided up into little, um, into like nine pouches. And then you can put your sentiments in there instead of in one big pouch where you have to kind of like dig through and look at them all again. So yeah, I'm really pleased that I purchased this set and I'm glad I got on the auto ship. So take care and I'll see you in the next video.